Howdy folks, and welcome back to this let's play of Civilization number 6. Currently we're playing that, of course, as the Macedonians. So a brief look at where we stand at the moment. So we've acquired Brussels recently, which used to be a uh, city-state. Same with Mohenjo Daro. <coughs> Hopefully I pronounced that correctly, but I acquired those in my war with the Polish nation here. Now, I'm at the end of my turn, so let's go on to the next turn. Still got a few spaces for trade. Well, I actually had a few spaces for trade routes, but that number now has dropped. <clears throat> so I need to look into why that is happening. <clears throat> Probably due to some scientific advances. Sometimes some of those will have an impact upon the availability of trade routes because some technology will be superseded by something else. Now, we're currently not at war with anyone, but we have been denounced by three other countries. <clears throat> Being the Poles, the Americans, as well as the Aztec. Now, as you might remember from the beginning of the uh, the series, we had been at war with the Aztec originally. <clears throat> that is no longer the case, but they are, yeah, expanding again in that northern region here in, well, is that, yeah, part, part of modern Russia, I guess, the eastern parts of modern Russia. <clears throat> anyway, I'm producing an ironclad at the moment here in my capital city. <clears throat> Let's have a look. They've got a cannon here in Lisbon. <clears throat> oh, after shifting envoys, you are no longer suzerain of Lisbon. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the Americans now are their suzerain. <clears throat> ah, we have barbarians here. <clears throat> Good. Oh, not good, but yeah, it is no surprise, really. Um, great person, <clears throat> a great writer is what we can recruit. Cool. Great production entry here. What can we produce? Let's go for the library in this instance. <clears throat> I want to basically boost my scientific output. So at the moment, I only got 84, uh, but I want to really want to boost that. So I need to basically get some more of these uh, areas as we got here at the moment to be created. Now, Jane has appeared where? So where is Jane? Over here. I can, with Jane, go to various different places. I think the first place I'm going to go to is that location here. <clears throat> it's going to take me more than a turn to get to, so that's not, that's fine. Not a big issue, but what are we going to do here? We are going to build ourselves another... Mm, let's build a military engineer. And I'm able to get some more roads towards that region without necessarily actually creating trade routes in that particular direction. <clears throat> okay, I've completed a quest for them. I've now got can, can create and maintain more trade routes than before, which is good. <clears throat> so let's create a trader in this city here by buying one. And uh, let's buy some in another city. Let's... Which city shall I do that from? <clears throat> Good question. So let's do that from my capital again. Let's buy another trader in here as well. <clears throat> that should bring my own numbers up to the, the maximum, really. Right. <clears throat> the iron cat should be completed in the next turn. And I think we'll have enough envoys again. <clears throat> now, they want some nitre of mine. I, I don't really feel like trading nitre because, of course, that's a military resource. That's a modern-day military resource. But <clears throat> Anyways, what can we do? <clears throat> Ironclad will be finished shortly. The Americans got here an apostle that they send my way. Interesting. Most interesting. Ah, we switched to the modern era. So what are we going to do with that trader that we got in this city here? <clears throat> so we can actually combine multiple units into an army now. Or earlier we could actually create a core. We can now create an army. And we can also get defensive pacts in place, which is good. Uh, unit maintenance cost is reduced by two. Interesting. I'm quite inclined to look into that. So that's the one I was looking at. <clears throat> Reduction in maintenance cost. 
Um, yeah, let's confirm that one. <clears throat> All right, my trade route from this city here. Where am I going to trade with? I'm going to trade with Lisbon, logically, because of course that seems to be generating most money. Right, what's the next civic I'm going to go for? Is that colonialism? Um, okay. Raj is an interesting one. Scorched Earth. Uh, mass media. I'm going to go for the opera here. <clears throat> Another trade route I can create. This one from Pella to Lisbon. <clears throat> and like I said, I've completed here my ironclad, and I'm going to use that to basically yeah, protect that area here, really, I think. <clears throat> so I'm going to basically put them on alert in that particular region. So anything trying to pass by me here will have to basically go by my ironclad. Now, what am I going to do here? I can build a neighborhood if I wanted to. It looks like down there is a great opportunity. So yes, <clears throat> I'm removing the rainforest, but I'm building a neighborhood there in its stead. Let's build ourselves the bank here, I think. <clears throat> Oops, I did a modern upgrade of all the roads, which is fine. I've gained a Cassus Belli against someone. I didn't... Ooh! Cleopatra. I haven't actually met her before, so... Interesting. Uh, I'm Cleopatra and I, if you are worthy. Hmm. Okay. It's an honor to meet you. <coughs> Exchange information about the capital. So they are based here in what is modern-day Northern America, it looks like. Gained a Casabelli declare war of territorial expansion on Montezuma. Alright, Jane Austen has arrived. Pride and Prejudice. <clears throat> right, that is of course here. Cool. What have they done? Expansionist. Where have they expanded as such? Territorial expansion. Where where have they actually settled? Okay. I have killed the enemy scout, which is good. Um let me just explore that in a minute. Train an infantry. Okay. New city state, create a okay, good scientist. I've met a representative of the Seoul city state. <coughs> okay. Inspiration for mass media. Uh yeah. Perfect. I've met the, yeah, the Egyptians there. <clears throat> Just wondering, where are they doing their expansion? I'm not seeing any particular... Unless it is that they basically bought some squares, which could be the case. And actually, they got Niter here, which is... Hmm. Okay, I could potentially try to gain access to those cities. Ah, there. So if I basically get in touch with that guy here, what can I actually do here? Declare friendship. Uh, yep. Oh, so they don't they don't make us their friend, or they're not willing to declare us their friend. Declare friendship. Perhaps not a time. Uh, okay, fine. So I would like to speak with Montezuma. Used to declare war on a power that is two technology all behind. All Wong or Manga uh, penalties are halved. Okay. 
used to declare war on a power that borders your empire, you must have two of your cities within 10 tiles of two opponent cities. Warmonger penalty is reduced by 25%. Okay. Ah. Of course, it makes sense if I first recognize the name. Tlacopan, Tlacopan, and Exo. Exotla, Exotla. Move on. Do, let's demand that city. <clears throat> Making demands will get you nowhere. Well, I could of course try. Now, I have just met Cleopatra. I'd like to establish an embassy. Good. So that should increase my access level shortly. As I've got secret access level here, with them it's limited. I've got open access level. Now, what is better? Is that secret or open? I, I would suspect open is worse than secret, but <clears throat> okay. Secret access level is here as well. Unlimited. Border agreements. Maybe I can make a deal with her as well about open borders, maybe. Anything I want to trade? No, I don't think so. They got one, two, three, four, five, six cities. <clears throat> Getting access to tobacco is always nice. And I think that's it for the moment. And let's go on to the next turn here. Unless mm, I could upgrade this one here. No, I don't want to form a core. Mm, then again, I could as well. <clears throat> Which increased the strength of that one to 65 as opposed to the earlier listed entry. Now this one is the stronger of the two, so it would make sense for me to basically merge with that one. <clears throat> Two cores are created there, and of course I would benefit nicely from having a infantry unit. Now, I'm not sure I've got access to the infantry required technology yet, but uh, let's go on to the next turn and see where we get to. Persia evil deeds were denounced by Poland. <clears throat> Rifling. All right, so I can choose a new production item here. Art museum or a archaeological museum. I'm gonna go for the archaeological one here. I can basically fortify this guy here again. I think that makes sense for me to do that. And then from here, I can actually allocate my spy. Now, it looks like I've got two spies at this point, and I actually want to basically send them to basically maintain control of the city itself. I haven't got any free slots over there, so I'm actually having to move to this other position here, where I can then create a great work. Jane Austen. Okay. And Jane is gone. Which makes absolute sense, I guess. That's a builder we got here. And this builder is going to basically build ourselves a farm here. A farm, like I said. <clears throat> this guy here, I'm going to move him into that position there. And again, I'm going to fortify him. <clears throat> Okay, interesting. I need to basically provide more food. Hold on. If I don't do the food, it ultimately is about to lose people. So we need to basically set it to growth or food production. Okay. Uh, more housing is needed here. Yes, where don't we need more housing? Where don't we need more housing? Vilnius, recruit a great scientist, is one of the targets there. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
also is a great debater. Okay. <clears throat> now, one of the things I really like to see in here is an, an overview of all of my units. I don't think there is any option to that effect in the game at the moment. Nope. <clears throat> I'm leading towards domination. But in terms of religious, it seems to be that the old Cyrus isn't in the lead. Okay. Anyways, choosing a new research item here. We're going to go for steel because we already have that boost for that. Uh, we'll actually increase our lumber mill output as well. We're going to go for the uh, university here. It costs us nine turns to create. That should be fine. And I'm actually going to move this unit next to the other one there. I'm going to turn this one into a core then. <coughs> I'm going to have mostly cores at my disposal here, which is uh, should be giving me a nice boost into everything. So here, I was asked to basically create an infantry unit, but infantry units are not on my list of possible options. So I'm actually going to create a ranger here to start off with. And what am I going to do with this unit here? Now, I had said earlier I wanted to basically create something with regards to roads. Now, i got a road leading to that one already. I'm going to create a road here as well, I think. There is our builder. What are you going to do next? Now, I don't think there's anything I can do here at present. I did anything down here to help any of these cities here. Not down there. That city's got everything it needs at the present. Once I get access to some extra resources here, I might be able to do something. But I don't have access to anything else at present here. So let's explore the sea options here. There's nothing in the sea here. Nothing here as of yet. Okay. Where else could I utilize this unit? I mean, you've got all the sheep already in here. Let's go to that square there. Should be able to build a farm or something along those lines over there. <coughs> and let's go into the next turn again. My unit needs orders. This unit here. Um, I'm going to move them there because I actually want to build a fortress there, similar to what I've done down here. Moving on to the next turn again. <coughs> Military engineer. Currently spending in terms of um, unit maintenance, 39. Okay. Now I'm going to build a road here. This unit here has built a farm, which is good. Anything else I can do around here? Still building that housing complex there. Yes, I can go for the coal. Should be part of Dion's territory now. <coughs> And yes, we're going to build ourselves that fortress. Next turn once again. Now, these oases that we see here in the desert, they should give a boost in terms of food output. Ooh, I could potentially get access to wine there. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Connected to an existing road there. I could potentially build a fortress here. I'm going to leave that as is at the moment. Let's see, where else could I benefit from some military engineering over here? I can build a fortress there. It's a nice protective uh, spot here.
Do I want to build a road here? Yeah, yeah. That should help me actually in terms of moving units around if there is a need for it. Don't have that need at the moment, but uh, yeah, you never know when that need could arise. That road there could use some improvement. They're asking for coal. Now, how much coal have I got? This is Cleopatra. Um, I think I'm quite happy to actually provide that, yeah. <clears throat> well, thank you. Uh, resource management. <laughs> nope, I'm going to refuse your deal. No matter how much you beg me for it, <clears throat> you are on my target list. And when I'm saying that, I mean that you are on one of the potential targets I'd like to conquer in the near future. Now, I have already conquered one capital, which was basically theirs. Look at that. Look at the number of units that they're gathering along the border there. They even got a settler over there. Meton. What am I going to do here? Uh, I could do the aqueduct, but that would of course reduce some of the other fields. Let's actually have a look. Three food. I've got over here two food and one production. And I'm actually complaining here about basically having a, a amenities shortage. Now, what would actually the production of the aqueduct do? Would deal with housing. Wouldn't actually provide me with any amenities, which is of course an option. Steer square I could deal with. I could. I can actually do food production on there, so we're not gonna do that now. Okay, what am I gonna build? I could build the Ruhr Valley here. Um, do I want to defer that? I think I want to defer that, yeah. Building a cavalry unit would be interesting. Let's actually build a musketman here. Let's go on to the next turn. We should see that then we complete our housing project, our neighborhood. So I'll be saying that that will be the last turn for the moment. Good amount of time that we spend on this episode then about we're standing about 30, 23 minutes approximately dimitri learned that persia has built a monument in sparta okay it's almost our turn it's almost there Inspiration. The residents of your breathtaking new neighborhood clamor for a plan to conserve all the world's natural resources. Okay. Eureka, with your introduction of neighborhoods, our cities are growing larger than ever before. Developing a sanitation plan is crucial. Yep, I fully agree with you there. Now, the neighborhood has been built. What can I build next? I cannot build the Ruhr Valley because there's no suitable location for it. What I can build here is, of course, some extra military units. Now, which am I going to go for here? I was thinking of doing a musketman or cavalry. Let's go for 62 melee, and this is 55. Let's go for the cavalry. Now we got a new trade route here. Now it doesn't tell me what the previous one had been. Uh, Kabul. Where's Kabul? One of their things that they want to have is a trade route. Do I want to go for that? Um, yeah, I could as well. It will pass through Bordeaux. Or not. I'm not sure. No, it will not pass through Bordeaux. It'll bypass Bordeaux, but it will give me a nice boost there, which is good. Which most definitely is good. Let's begin that trade route. 
So I built that entry here, and I have been rewarded with one extra envoy, which is great. Thank you very much for that. New production in Dion. Ruhr Valley is one of the options I could build. One, two, three. Let's build it over here, I think. I'll remove the reinforce there <coughs> to build the option that we basically were aiming for. The Ruhr Valley. Now, in this city here, I can maybe focus more on production, which goes down to 27. Yeah. But if I don't, it takes me 12 turns to grow. And now, 47 down to 20, 27. Sorry, it's either. 32 or 27. Let's go for the 27. <clears throat> what else do I want to build anywhere here? <sighs> Let's go for that square there because that's of course still untaken. I can maybe build a farm there or maybe a mine. I just need to have a look at what's op the options that we can go for. All right, like I said, I'm going to basically call it a day. So I'm actually going to save away the game now as being end of episode number 18. And I'd say uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I would look forward to seeing you on the next episode. In the meantime, take care.